Hello, this is Marvelyn Brown, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to talk about uh, blogging, we're going to talk about WordPress, what it is, and how you can use it to monetize your hobbies and interests. So now that you have your site um, set up, you've got your hosting set up, you've got your domain set up, now it's kind of time to dig deeper and learn more about the platform that we're going to be using uh, to set up your blog. So if you have not set up your hosting and your domain yet, um, you are on the page at uh, innerwordservices.com forward slash Bluehost. If you're on that page, then there is a, a section in that page that will walk you through getting all of that set up. Now, once you have all of that set up, then you're going to be ready for this video. Now, this video is kind of an intermediate step that you can take before you take the Blogging Basics course. Number one, it's gonna show you what you can do with your blog or what you can do with your site once you get it set up. That's what you will learn in Blogging Basics. It's gonna walk you through setting up your pages, setting up your posts, you know, and all the ins and outs and all the details that you need to finish building out your blog. Once your blog has been built out, then you are going to want uh, to know how to blog, you know, some of the tools and the tips and things that you need to know so that you can be successful with your blog. You're also going to learn the details about some of the things that we're going to talk about today when it comes to monetizing your hobbies and your interests. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. So what is WordPress? WordPress is a platform that powers about 30% of the internet. Now, when you talk about a platform, um, I want you to visualize yourself and you know, you're representing your business and you're standing in an auditorium that is packed with people and you're standing on the stage and you have a microphone in front of you. And that microphone enables you to reach that wide audience. You know, the people in the back can hear you, the people in the balcony can hear you. And so that microphone amplifies your voice so that you are heard by everyone sitting in the auditorium. And so that's basically what WordPress does for your business. It enables you to leverage the internet so that people can access your business no matter what device they're on, no matter where they are in the world, you know, you can reach a worldwide audience. You can also reach your local community. So no matter where you want to target, you know, your business, you can reach the audience that you want to reach. And so it's a, it's basically like the gold standard of uh, blogging platforms because it is so flexible and it's really easy to work with. So a lot of developers create products for WordPress. That's the other advantage that using WordPress has over some of the other uh, platforms that are out there. Now there are two versions of WordPress and this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Some people are on wordpress.com and they think they're on you know, wordpress.org when wordpress.org is really the gold standard. Um, WordPress.com is more of a blogging only platform. So it's very, it's limited in terms of, you know, what you can do with it. There aren't a lot of themes, professional themes that are available, um, that you can use on WordPress.com. And sometimes when you, you know, you buy a theme, a professional theme, and you put it on WordPress.com, a lot of times it doesn't really look the way you might want it to look. So WordPress.com is more like the service. It's a service provided by uh, WordPress that enables people to blog. So you can get a blog online using WordPress.com, but you won't have the uh, functionality. You won't have the flexibility um, that you might have with a WordPress.org site. And as you go through blogging basics, you will be able to see the differences. So wordpress.com, when you think about wordpress.com, think about sites like Blogger, like Wix. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. 
I can't really think of any other ones off the top of my head, but you kind of get the gist. When you are on a blogger site, um, there's really limited functionality. Yes, you can write a blog post. Yes, you can put, um, you know, an image on there. You can put a video on there, um, but it may not format. It may not look that great, but it can definitely enable you to uh, blog and reach an audience. But WordPress.org is the software. So think about the difference between the service and the software. Um, we're going to be working with the software. And the software, you know, when you are able to work with the software, that gives you a lot more uh, flexibility. And those developers that are out there creating products for WordPress, they're creating products that enable you to do more and more and more with the WordPress platform. So, you know, being in front of that huge audience, you're on the stage, you want people who are interested who are looking for, you know, the information that you have to provide. And so, you know, there again, we're gonna go back to the auditorium. Those people sitting in the auditorium, you want them to be um, interested and anticipatory regarding, you know, your um, presentation, whatever that is. Now, if you have a whole audience full of people who could care less, then you're kind of wasting your time. And so WordPress, you want a platform, whether it's WordPress, you know, or, or another platform, you want something that will enable you to qualify your visitors. You want to turn those visitors into leads. And that lets you know that they are interested in what you have to say. They want to know more. And so that is where WordPress really shines. You know, it really enables you to uh, do a lot of the things that you might be doing in person right now. So instead of meeting with, you know, someone one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to be able to actually meet with, you know, lots of people at the same time without having to rent space in an auditorium or without having to stand on a stage with a microphone. You can reach people at two or three o'clock in the morning while you're sleeping and, you know, they might even buy something from you during that time. So WordPress is really becoming a giant when it comes to uh, functionality and leveraging the power of the internet. So just consider, you know, WordPress.org is what we're going to be working with. And uh, we are going to use this free platform to build your blog. So... Um, the other thing that a lot of people think about WordPress is that you have to be able to code or you have to be technical or you need to have these great design skills in order to use it. That is not um, correct. You don't have to have coding. You don't have to have design skills to build an amazing blog or website. And so that is something that you will also learn in the Blogging Basics course, you know, how to create a great looking site without the coding skills, without the design skills, because there are lots of different tools that you can use that will really help you um, to create a great looking site. So in addition to the numerous economic opportunities, WordPress enables people specifically, you know, for our purposes, business owners to share their stories, their ideas, um, to build communities and do lots of awesome things. So now here are some of the things that you can do with WordPress. Of course, you can blog and that blog, you know, just having a blog really opens the door for you to do all the other things on this list. But the main thing that you can do with WordPress is you can blog. And so a lot of people use WordPress and they use the blogging functionality, but they also use other aspects of uh, the site. And so think about this. If you are a network marketer or you're in direct sales, the thing that you want to do if you're working in those industries is you want to differentiate yourself from all the other people who are working with the same company that you're working with who are selling the same products as you. And basically those folks are your competition. All the other reps in that company are your competition. And so it's very important for you to brand yourself and set yourself apart by showing potential customers 
uh, why it's better to work with you versus all those other reps, right? And so a blog will really enable you to do that. You can brand yourself. And you know, this is the mistake that I see a lot of network marketers and direct sales people make is that they will go out and they will talk about their company. My company this, my company that. Not knowing that they are, uh, they're pushing the company, but they're not distinguishing themselves. So they're building the brand and they're bringing in resources for the other company. However, what happens if something happens to that relationship with that company? For whatever reason, what happens if that company is no longer in the picture? They are stuck trying to start all over again because no one knows them other than you know their association with that company. So for example, if you're with, uh, I'll just say Avon, that's the first thing that comes to mind for me. Um, if you're an, a an Avon rep and you know all you do is talk about Avon, 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 right? And you never brand yourself. You don't have a blog. You don't have anything that differentiates you from all the other reps. Then your whole identity, your whole business identity lies with Avon. And, you know, if you're able to um, build up um, a huge, you know, maybe you have tons and tons of customers, Avon customers, right? What happens if Avon goes away? What happens if they don't like something you did and they kick you out or they tell you you can't be a rep anymore? You are lost. And so, but on the flip side of that, if you brand yourself, if you you know, brand your business, you brand your, um, you know, your, for example, Avon sells makeup. So we're just going to say, if you want to specialize in the makeup niche, then you, you know, build a blog that is based on the makeup niche or the perfume niche or the jewelry niche or any of the things that Avon sells. And you're known for the best makeup tips and the best, um, you know, perfume recommendations or the best, I think Avon sells clothing. They sell a lot of different things, but you want to be known for the things that Avon sells or the things that Avon does and the results that they get for their customers. But you don't want to be associated with the brand for Avon. You want to be associated with your brand and you want to be the best makeup person on the planet. You want to be the best um, jewelry person on the planet. So that way it doesn't just limit you to Avon. So that if something does happen to that, uh, that relationship, you can find another supplier of makeup or jewelry or whatever it is that you want to uh, promote. But your whole business doesn't have to go down the drain if your relationship with Avon goes south. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can see how a blog would um, help you be able to do that. And those are some of the things that you will learn when you sign up for Blogging Basics. Now, the next thing on the list is freelancing. A lot of people have used their blog to start a freelancing business. So you can, for example, sign up with some of the companies that you know offer freelance services and build up your profile and you know start working with clients and you can use your blog to um to brand yourself there again blogs are great for branding they're great for distinguishing you from all the other people who are doing the same thing that you're doing so the same thing goes for freelancers as uh, does for network marketing and direct sales when you're a freelancer you want to distinguish yourself you want to build up a client base and you don't want to totally depend on those freelancer sites. You definitely want to have a presence there, but you don't want to depend, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So, you know, you want to have your own platform, your own blog that you own and control. And I keep hitting this button, I do apologize. Uh, but you want to have your own, um, you want to have your own presence online so that you can distinguish yourself from other people who are doing what you're doing. The next thing on the list, working from home. So blogging has enabled so many people in so many industries 
to work from home, whether it's full time or whether it's part time. You want to have a business. And I think it's really good, even if you love your job, you love working your nine to five, you still want to have something else, a plan B, a um, side hustle, something that you can do to bring in income just in case something happens, you know, with that nine to five job. They're talking about, you know, today in this in this uh, particular time frame, they're talking about inflation and high prices and things like that. So a side hustle or a full-time work from home opportunity, um, you know, would maybe be something that might help uh, your family bring in more income. Uh, creating courses. So there again, you know, we talk about your hobbies and your interests and how you can use a blog or use WordPress um, to, you know, get paid for that knowledge, to get paid for something you love, something you enjoy doing. If you've had a hobby that you've had for, you know, ages, maybe you've been interested in this hobby for a long time, maybe you have, um, you know, had an interest or maybe something as simple as sewing or going fishing on the weekend or a sport or, you know, all of those things that we're all interested in, you know, we, most of us have something that we've loved doing since we were, you know, a certain age or something that we just got into that we're really, really enjoying. Why not take that knowledge? You know, when you have a hobby, more than likely, you know, all the tools, you know, all the equipment, you know, all the resources, you know, those inside secrets that really help you to be successful. You know all of that stuff because you've been involved, you know, in that hobby forever, right? So why not take that knowledge and share it online using a blog? And so when you do that, you can get paid for that knowledge. You can, you know, create courses that help people just like you get started. And think about, you know, even uh, when you started, you know, what were some of the things that you wanted to know? What were some of the things that really helped you? You can take that information, put it in a course and, you know, sell it on your blog. Affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, um, when you're an affiliate, you are selling or you're promoting products uh, created by other people. So you're selling other people's stuff. And when you sell other people's stuff, that means you don't have to create anything on your own. You don't have to maintain inventory. You just, um, you're basically what happens is you sign up to become an affiliate with a brand, with a company. And then once that company approves you, they will also assign you a unique affiliate link. Now, once that link, um, you once you get that link, then you start sharing that link online. You share it in your content. You share it in your blog posts, your videos, wherever you are online, you share that link. And then when people click on your link, you are going to get paid a commission. You'll either get a one-time commission or you will get uh, recurring revenue with, you know, that happens on a regular basis. So affiliate marketing is the way that most people, when they start a blog, that is how most people are earning on uh, the internet through affiliate marketing. You can also build an online store or shop. So WordPress works great with WooCommerce. And I don't know if you've ever heard of WooCommerce, but WooCommerce is also an op a free open source platform that you can use to create an e-commerce store. So there again, you have WordPress, an open source platform that is free. You have uh, WooCommerce that is an open source platform that is free. And these two platforms work well together. So you can, you know, pair those two up and have an online store or shop. Now, a lot of people are, um, if they make products or, you know, they're making things by hand, they are putting their products on Etsy. Um, there are also people who are putting some of the things that they sell on things like eBay and Facebook and other marketplaces. So when you put things on these other marketplaces, a lot of times there are fees involved. Well, when you have your own self-hosted WordPress site and you pair up with WooCommerce, 
you don't have all of those fees. The only fees you're going to have would maybe be the fees that you might incur to actually get the product into your possession. So if you buy, say for instance, you buy products and you, um, you know, sell them online, then those costs, you know, to buy the products or to acquire the products would be the only cost that you have. But when you're on platforms like Etsy and Facebook and all of those, eBay, they take out, you know, their part of your uh, profit each time you make a sale. And so a lot of people are, yes, they're using those platforms because those platforms do have traffic already built into them, but they're also backing up those platforms with their own online store. Next, you can create a membership site. So you may have, you know, once you build your audience, you may have a, um, um, an audience that is, you know, pretty large. And maybe some of the people in your audience would be willing to pay you for exclusive content. And so if you're able to get people to pay you for that exclusive content, they can become members. So you can sell those memberships and, you know, earn from that. Now, the other thing is, you know, you will have at that point, people who are just regular visitors for your site. And then you will also have members who are uh, getting extra perks. So you kind of have to, you know, think of some of the perks that you might want to offer. Think about some of the exclusive content that people can't get anywhere else. And then, you know, you can set up a membership site by doing that. Last but not least, you can start a podcast. So a podcast enables you to extend your reach even further. Um, there are people who like to read, there are people who like to watch videos and there are people who like to listen. So people who are really busy, you know, they might like your site, but they don't have time to sit down and just read through an entire article. They may, you know, be busy enough where they can listen either using their, you know, their headphones or um, they can maybe use uh, their um uh, you know, their car while they're commuting, they can actually listen to your podcast in the car. They can listen on their cell phone or just have it running through, you know, their speakers. But, you know, people can listen while they do other things. And that is a way that a lot of people are reaching an audience. They're also doing interviews with, you know, interesting people, people that can give a different perspective on whatever the topic is that they are covering on their blog. Now, when you have a podcast, uh, the WordPress uh, platform will work with your pot, your podcast um, provider um, and you can embed your podcast on your blog. So when you do a blog post, you can embed that podcast episode, uh, the relevant you know podcast episodes into your blog post. And that's also a great way to extend your reach. So now the first thing you want to do, and we talked about this in the beginning of the video, if you haven't done so already, you want to sign up for web hosting and a domain through Bluehost. And you can do that right here at innerwordservices.com forward slash Bluehost. We're going to walk you through setting everything up. So there's a step-by-step -step video on that page as well as this video. So once you get everything set up, um, you can you know, refer back to this video and just kind of review it to make sure that you have all the information you need to go through our Blogging Basics course. Now, the one thing that I will suggest before you um, head over to set up your hosting and your domain, when you're thinking about a domain, I really want you to give, I want you to pause and take a moment to think about your domain because it's very, very important. So your domain is the, um, so in a site called www.yoursite.com, the, your site is your domain. So it's the, the, the information between www and the .com. So you fill in the blank with your site. And the thing that you wanna do is you want to follow these tips when you're thinking about a domain name. 
you want it to be 15 or fewer characters. So the shorter your domain, the better, because the more characters you have in that domain name, the harder it is for people to remember. So you wanna make it easy to pronounce and easy to spell. You wanna include keywords. So if you're in the fitness niche or the health and wellness niche, you definitely want to think about some related keywords that you can use in your domain. You wanna choose niche specific um, names. So there again, you know, those keywords that relate to your niche are going to um, be beneficial because that will help people to uh, remember your, um, your domain or your site. Use .com when possible. So .com is the extension that most people are used to seeing. If you have some of the other extensions, and you'll kind of see this when we walk through um, setting up your domain and your hosting, you're gonna see all the different you know, extensions that you, know, you might be tempted to use. But when you use those extensions, if people see things that they're not really familiar with, sometimes that can be a turnoff. So, you know, everyone knows .com. If you can use it, you know, if it's available, I would definitely use it. You also want to avoid hyphens. Hyphens kind of confuse, um, you know, visitors as well. So, you know, try to avoid hyphens at all costs. And you want your domain to be unique and brandable. So there again, just like we said before, you know, if you're in certain industries, especially, it's really important for you to distinguish yourself from all the other people that are doing what you're doing. So you want to make your uh, domain unique and brandable. And then you also want to avoid double letters because double letters, there again, can be confusing. Now, we're going to give you a, um, when you sign up through Bluehost, you are going to get a free domain registration with the hosting plan. So you'll have your domain for one year for free. They will include that in the hosting plan. And what that means is, you know, when you pay for your um, hosting and your domain up front for a whole year, that means you're done for a whole year. You don't have to worry about paying that bill. So basically that gives you the ability to focus on your website or your blog, getting it up and running and making money. And you know, one of your first, first goals could be to recoup the in investment that you have made in your blog. So then step two is of course, taking our free blogging basics course and in this course, we really take you step by step through building a conversion focused blog. So you don't want to just, you know, throw up a blog and hope for the best. You want a blog that converts uh, your visitors from a visitor to a lead. And then you want to convert those leads into sales if possible. And so, you know, the more you um, structure things in a certain way, the more you set your blog up to have that kind of functionality that makes it easy uh, to convert people, uh, the better off and the, the, the more successful your business has the potential to be. You're gonna earn, you're gonna learn rather about active and passive income. And you're gonna, you know, basically utilize these, these um, concepts to build on your interests. Just like we said in the beginning, you want a business that ties into your hobbies, your skills, and your interests. And so we walk you through that as well. So that is pretty much it. Um, head over to innerwordservices.com forward slash Bluehost. And uh, we will see you in the course. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.